What's going on everyone? We're gonna take a look at Tesla technical analysis. So absolute monster day in the overall stock market for many, many names off the back of the FOMC meeting notes. We got that 0.75 basis point uh, rate hike. What we are looking at here is Tesla closing at $824.46. Markets just came to a close. Tesla was up a massive 6% today, 47 points on the day session. Now, what I want to kind of briefly point out to you guys is one thing. When stocks are trading above the 50-day moving average, any pullback or any red that you get intraday is just that. It's just a mere pullback. There is opportunities for quick uh, scalps, but make sure you have an account size that's going to allow you to be able to go long, short in the day, get in and out of these plays uh, and these trades because you don't want to get stuck. You know, you don't want to get stuck shorting uh, a pullback on a rising stock chart, and then you know now you're trapped and you can't get out of the play, so forth and so forth. Because a lot of people, you know, as Tesla had these three down days here, which was nothing more than a pullback, a lot of people were shorting. Now, if you necessarily, you know, don't understand technical analysis too much, could you have made money shorting Tesla on these three days? 100%. However, you could have gotten your face absolutely ripped off today if you're still holding. Maybe you're holding, you know, a one week, two week out expiration put and, and you thought everything was going to be fine. You know, with stocks was going lower next to, you know, Tesla's rallying up 50 points in a day. That's the thing that that's the kind of, you know, extensive, extensive manner that a lot of these stocks are going to have when they're trading above the 50 day moving average. Just like when that stock is trading below its 50 day moving average, are you going to get those bounces? Are you going to get those green days? Yes, of course. But then in the blink of an eye, the stock market just gets its rug pulled and things drastically start to go down. You get these engulfing candles and now you're trapped. You're kind of like, well, what happened? You know, everything looked good, like it was going higher. And then now we're sitting 20, 30 points below your entry, especially on a stock like Tesla. You don't really want to mess around, especially if you're a newer or inexperienced trader. Definitely take gains whenever you have them. Don't want to sit around waiting and hoping that this thing's going to the moon and then, you know, see a, a profitable trade go into a negative trade. So what we're looking at here is a daily time frame on Tesla. I do like this engulfing green candle that we had and we just tested and closed above this natural uh, supply that we have here, which is a 200 EMA as well as the 100 simple moving average here. You can see we stopped almost perfectly to a dime. The only reason why we really stopped here, obviously market came to a close and we had an upper Bollinger Band supply sitting there. Tesla looks very, very nice. If we can confirm these highs today, uh, Tesla's got some room to stretch. So if we kind of look at today's highs of 828, 827, somewhere in that range, we got the upper Bollinger Band sitting here, which is obviously gonna change going into tomorrow, but that's sitting at around $829. What I would do is simply take today's highs, right? And let's get these exact highs from the four hour chart here. Let's take these highs from today and let's go $828. And then we're going to go back to the daily time frame, and we're going to see where that puts us just so we make sure we're not jumping into a stock that's right at supply. So if we kind of look at that 828, 827 mark, let's just call it 828 for the sake of the video. If we were to confirm getting over 828, that is clearing out both the 100 and 200 uh, supply zones here. The next bit of su uh, supply that we're gonna have is this upper wick here. And this upper wick is gonna stem all the way up to $842. So Tesla definitely has about another 20 to 25 points worth of room to run. And obviously our macro supply is gonna be the linear regression sitting at around $848. Those are the levels that you need to kind of keep in mind. Now, if the market pulls back, or are you just going to jump into a short? I want you to take this mindset. I'm not telling traders that you can't short a stock on a red day, but just also know we are above the 5, 10, 20, 50 day moving averages. These are all extremely bullish signs, okay, for a particular stock. Now, could Tesla be down 20, 30 points tomorrow? Yes. No one is saying that Tesla cannot come all the way back down to 807, 798. 767 and still be bullish even if tesla came down to 752 
it is still in bullish context. So we could have a little bit of a pullback. It just makes sure if you are going to take a short position, you are going to use an intraday chart, meaning like a five minute chart, a 15 minute chart, a 30 minute chart, an hourly chart. I typically like to stick to the five in the one hour, the five minute chart and the one hour time frame chart when I'm intraday scalping. Now keep in mind that when we are scalping against a daily charts time frames trend, I want to be in and out. So what that means is that Tesla's daily chart is extremely bullish. I am not going to get into a, a short position on Tesla's five minute chart and try to hold this all day or try to swing it overnight because what can happen overnight is that the stock can gap up. We can have good news. They can rip it right off the open and then you get absolutely destroyed on that trade. So keep in mind that if you are scalping to the downside, if tomorrow is a natural rest day and we do pull back a little bit, there will be opportunities to short, but that doesn't mean that you want to stay in a trade all day. You want to get in on the move you want to ride the wave with the rest of the people riding the wave ride the emotions and you want to get in you want to get green and you want to get out the bigger macro trade is going to be over 827.60 with a potential to 848 that's the bigger trade that i believe in tesla to the long side stocks do look good nasdaq futures are up 450 points the spx is up 100 i mean things absolutely you know, rip today, Microsoft up 16, completely engulfed everything, uh, earnings, Walmart engulfed their earnings. I mean, everything looks bullish context. Is that saying that, you know, we're never going to go lower? Of course not. But for the short term being in the time being now, we do look good. With that being said, guys, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. If you guys are looking to learn more on how to day trade, join my discord. That link is down in the description box below. Also, make sure to, to uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are watching. For tomorrow and i'll see you guys all next time